Bougainvilleas are without a doubt one of the most colorful plants on the planet and Shirley Bob Shaw is here to tell us more about this happy plant. How are you Shirley? I'm doing great. Good to have you here. We're going to talk about bougainvillea today and so what is a bougainvillea plant? Well number one it's one of the most memorable plants on earth. If you see it you'll remember it because it's so bright. What they are they're originally from Brazil South America. They're an evergreen vine with beautiful bracts, with what you would say, beautiful flowers, flowers right? Right, flowers. But I want to show you something. If you look closely, you actually do see a little white flower. Mm -hmm. You yes. see that? Mm -hmm. That is the flower. What you're seeing in all of these petals is similar to the poinsettia that we learned. Oh, a bract. A bract. These are just bracts. And the function of the bract is to call attention for the pollinators to know, hey, <laughs> Here's a here. flower. Uh, so what variety <laughs> are these? Well, this is a gorgeous new compact variety called Sunvillia. Mm -hmm. And what makes it different is that you see the tiny little uh, leaves here. It stays really small, about three feet tall, three feet wide. Makes a great container plant because sometimes you'll see these bougainvilleas that are just. I you, love it when it goes. As a matter of fact, have a picture. I, I love it show. when it's on the roof and the side of the house. Right, gorgeous. So you want beautiful. to take a look at? Okay, oh. no, this is a smaller one. What I want to, to show you when I show you these varieties is that they can be used in many ways. If you're in a warm area, you can plant them in the ground as a hedge. Isn't that gorgeous that's hedge? Amazing. That's so much color. But that, look that's at that's what I love. That's what yeah, people see. I love. And these are hardy plants because Absolutely. I know in really warm weather here in Southern California, they thrive. But they also do well in weather that's not so warm. Right, and that's really important. And I want friends at home, you, you look at this and say, how could I have this type of color? This is, you know, for warm areas. True, but not true. And the reason is, bougainvillea makes a great container plant. So if you have winters that are, you know, colder than 40 degrees, then plant them in a container and keep them there. And then in the wintertime, take them indoors. But it makes a beautiful plant, so you could start enjoying the color in the springtime and in the fall. But now, the one this thing you have to make sure is when you have when you have them indoors, don't have them near a heater. Oh yeah. Because that, yes. will, that will hurt them yeah. bad. So have it's you stay done like, that before? Yes. So okay. like what, 65, <laughs> 70 degrees is the best spot for them? Absolutely, 65 to 70 degrees. And actually, if you have a really bright spot in your house and you have that kind of temperature, you can keep the the color throughout the winter. Now, do you like this one? This I is love a the beautiful color. one. Love it. Texas Dawn. Uh, something you want to look at is the beautiful rose pink color. Love. Uh, and it's you like know, all the fuchsia. Is it gorgeous? Are gorgeous? And they're all different. I love this one. This yeah. is Particular. a dark one. Oh, you like that? Well, I'm going to get to that one, but look at this one. A variegated leaf is on this one. This was is the golden. Uh, uh, the golden jackpot. What I love about it, look at how the leaf has the chartreuse and green mm. color. It's beautiful. And there's that little flower in the And the beautiful, there yeah, yeah, fuchsia color. Mm -hmm. So this again will look great draped against a wall. You can put it in a pot. You can put it up against a fence. And you can also put them in your garage where they can lose all of your leaves. Ah, uh, well, that's getting a little bit into the winter time. Right. Now, friends at home, if you're in a cold winter area, and Mark is very smart to bring that up, you have two options. You can bring in your bougainvillea plant, put it in a nice sunny room, and it'll be a nice house plant until spring. Or if you don't have time for that, take it to your garage where it's nice and cool. It will lose its leaves. It's not dead. Water it once a month. During springtime, when it starts warming up, you can start bringing it out, and it can be gorgeous like this. Very hardy plants. Yes, and this one is the Camarillo Fiesta. I love it too because you know sometimes people think uh, bougainvillea's most popular colors are red and pink, but you get these beautiful apricot it and golden colors. Your top, your yes. nail polish, yeah. and the flower. Do you there think you I did that on purpose? <laughs> I think so. It. I planned this top, guys. And this beautiful you thing. Like now, this yeah, one? that's a beautiful one too. Uh, the pink. This one is, and it's similar to the one over there, but it is. What's different is, and this is. The, the details you notice. It's got a nice large leaf like the Texas Dawn, but it this one is more of a lime green color. And you do get different colors on your uh, flower right here. And uh, not flower, your bract. You've got an apricot here and the dark pink.